Okay, so what I've got here is two Technic trucks that I've made remote control using the LEGO remote control system. And I've got one of the remotes and I drive the front truck and my Mindstorms robot here has a second IR remote and he's driving the second truck and he's got infrared sensors in his eyes and he's following the infrared beacon on the back of this truck. So he's calculating the position of this truck in relation to him and steers the truck to follow mine. So I basically wrote a small program for him just to say that you know once the truck goes out of range, start driving and once it goes off to the right or off to the left, start turning and then stop when he gets close. So as I drive the front truck now, he'll start following me around. And once he gets within range, he'll then stop again. And so he's always trying to correct his uh, bearing and proximity. So yeah, I'm, I'm not controlling the second truck at all. It's just the robot that's doing that. Yeah. How far is the sensor? Yeah. Um, probably about two to three meters. I, I tried to see how far I could extend it before he'd start losing range. Yeah. And it seems to be around that two to three meter mark, he starts to wander off and do his own thing. <laughs> So, yeah, the infrared's not got very, it's got a limited range. Yeah, it's pretty limited range. Yeah. And it's got to be, and it has to have line of sight usually as well. The other, the other limitation I found with it is if you're near a glass window, it can actually find the IR reflection in the glass window and start driving towards the glass <laughs> instead of, instead of the, uh, the front truck. So I've had it drive into a glass door before. <laughs> at home when I was testing it. off switch for it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and so and I've got a touch sensor on the top of the robot here to start or end his program. Mm -hmm. So if I just press the, the uh, touch sensor now, he says goodbye, turns off. He doesn't do anything now, so I can just drive the front truck and he'll, he'll no longer follow me. Yeah. And then if I restart the program again now, so I turn him on to start the program, I turn, press the touch sensor to start him, he'll three seconds, he'll bark, and then I'll go find the sensor. He's happy that he's found the truck.